All right, got a map to play. Uh, Sitting Bull Immortal by Thundax. Said this was a um, hard immortal map. Couldn't get a good military tradition date and pull off a good career. See a rush, it kind of went down. So um, yeah, we're going to give this a shot. Sounds interesting. All about those hard immortal maps. Really good learning experience. It's nice when the map is hard, not just the fact the DDAI with its 50% discounts are hard. Um, so yeah, okay. Philosophical Protective, yep. Um, Sitting Bull is kind of a pretty mid guy, like average. One great trait, one pretty terrible trait. Agriculture's great. Fishing is okay. It's better than mysticism. The Dog Soldier is a resourceless axeman with a bigger bonus for smelling units, but only four strength. Um, good if you have no strategic resources for a defense measure. But if you have copper, you will wish you had the standard axeman, to be honest. That's how it goes. Uh, the totem pole's a monument that makes your archers stronger, pretty much. Three extra XP. It's very annoying in the hands of the Sitting Bull AI. This is why every single longbow he builds has City Garrison 3 on it. Um, and, you know, your trebs get 2% odds when you're attacking him. Or attacking his longbows. His freaking longbows kill cannons and then... God help you when he upgrades them into rifles, dude. Um, yeah, just watch the Justinian live stream if you want to see what that looked like. That was a nightmare. Um, very, very annoying AI to kill. If there's someone who can fight a war and turtle for a long time, it's this guy. Um, but this is not really that useful for the player. I mean, the dog sort of can be great if you need to choke a neighbor and you don't have a resource, but yeah. Very situational stuff. I think he's better in always war, I don't know. Okay, so this is the start. It's, yeah, a lot of forests. We need bronze working, but it's also kind of low commerce. I would love to settle on the silk if it wouldn't move me away from my wheat. Um, I want to go here and grab the floodplain, but I'm afraid I will ruin fish. Alright. Um... So, we kind of need to check for seafood. Now, I want to see this tile because I want to see if I'm moving into something good here. This tile, I'm going to have no matter what. So, I think I will move here. A little bit of an odd one, but I will see this tile. And if there's a fish here, it's not ruined if I settle here. I th think, maybe. If there's a land tile here, I can get the fish there. But if there's a fish here, I, I will see it. If there's a fish here, here, or here, or whatever, I'll see it. So I think here's a good spot to move, and okay, yes, it's um, important to see that. So I think it gets ruined if I go here, because I can't settle here, and then here misses the fish. So maybe we don't want to ruin the fish. Now I see there's a lot of coast up here. If I go one north onto that plains hill, first of all, there could be copper there. And I'm, like, moving on to copper and destroying it, pretty much. Well, I get a 300 capital, but... Is the ability to work a six hammer tile, which is a bit of a bummer. And I'm also risking ruining more potential fish up here. Um, so I don't know. There might also be something right here. Which maybe I should have checked. Well, if I checked this, I wouldn't be able to see the fish. This is a tough one, dude. Like, how do you even play this? So going left is not an option. I can't really justify moving all the way, like, over here for three turns or whatever, that's mm, too slow. We might just settle in place. Yeah, there's probably going to be something here. I also lose my river tiles if I move. I think moving is good. Like, plain seal is good, of course, but... The worker's not even going to be able to do anything until bronze working, so maybe not. By moving, I delay bronze working a turn and I get the worker two turns faster, but the worker has nothing to do after he farms, so maybe rushing the worker's not important in this case. So I think I'd settle in place. Less chance of ruining seafood too, I think. 
We got some nice tiles later on. Well, you yeah, know, there could be seafood here I'm ruining, but what, what can you do? We get this tile to work at least, which is a little bit of commerce. I think we have to go mining bronze working to really unlock this start and then wheel pottery and cottage the silk tiles. Uh, we have a bare hill to mine at least. That's something good about this. So what we're going to do is we're going to grow on this tile, work the lake or this tile to grow to size 3. Then work this, this, and the mine while we build our settler at size 3, I'm thinking. This is immortal. The barbs aren't too insane on immortal. Uh, we'll do the starting checks on turn 5. I think mining bronze working though. I think this is a Pangea? Doesn't say. Guess we'll find out. Uh, he said he was query sea rushing, so I'll just assume it's Pangea, but who knows. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, plain is good, but not that good if your worker can't really leverage it to do anything. So, also, if I settle here, that's five turns I don't get to work this tile, so even less commerce. It, like, makes my low commerce situation even worse. I lose the river tiles as well, of course, so I'm not too sure about it. Yeah. I do like my river tiles. We can cottage a little bit in here. Not a lot, but a little bit. You know, these will be good tiles later. Pretty underwhelming land. Okay, so this is obviously a really good spot. It does require mysticism. Kind of. Yeah. But we need bronze working really to unlock this start, I think. Yeah, I'm, if I'm gonna go for like an ocean fish, I need bronze working to whip or chop a monument anyway. Okay. Okay, we have some stuff. Alright. Oh, yeah, sitting bull music. Hey yo. Oh yeah yeah. Looks like a narrow peninsula. Kind of an interesting start. Um, Great Lighthouse would be good if I can somehow build it here. Not sure how I'd do that, but... Jeez. You kind of want the Great Lighthouse with this kind of start, but I'm not on the coast, so it's a bit awkward. Hmm, I haven't met anyone yet. Kind of a weird start. Are we isolated? The man who moves a mountain begins by carrying away small stones. Yes, you obviously have to go here. And here. The fish are kind of dictating where I need to settle, which is a little bit annoying. Okay, there is some stuff down here. We've got a river. Should definitely check this out in case we want to beeline down this direction. Oh, and he's the neighbor. Uh, I don't even know where he scatters. Mm -hmm. Or here even. I don't know, one of these two spots. Definitely want to grab this before he does. Yeah. So I'm next to Alex. I can see why this could be tough. Now, I need to meet other guys to know if he starts plotting. Now, they're not going to be getting past him. So this warrior kind of just has to go on a freaking expedition, dude. And I'll just have to make more guys to fog bust. I mean, thanks to the hills and stuff, we're like fog busting a decent amount. What I need to fog bust, I suppose, is put a guy up here or like down, down here somewhere. And then I need a guy in the corner here, so we need two warriors. 
Okay, yeah, so he did come from this direction. Um, I'll go toward the forests. Okay, wow, he's right here. I might not get this spot. Wow, he's really close. Okay. Okay. He's in the north of the jungle, so there should be more people south of him. Oh, unless we get land. Oh, no. Oh, he does it. Yes. Uh Don't need to rush bronze working actually. Do I want to mine? Why don't I go here and chop and mine this instead? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will want it in seven turns actually. And he's kind of fog busting for me. Let's work this and get the bronze working a tiny bit faster. And I think I will lose one commerce in like five or six turns. And I should still get it in time. Yeah, yeah, I should. Okay. I think five turns here, six to move into here, then seven turns I will be able to chop. I'll chop and mine this tile. This has a commerce on it, you know. And if I work that for 10 turns while building a settler as opposed to working that for 10 turns, that's 10 commerce I gain. Which is like quite a big deal actually. So we'll do that. And we can just chop the warriors to make up for the fact we're not working hammers. I chop a warrior. I mean I have a bajillion forests, it's fine, right? Huh. He agrees. Gotta switch this over manually because it doesn't want to work the lake on its own. Oh, wonderful neighbors we have here. How, how wonderful. No! The... Oh. oh, well. I have to do nothing for one turn. Unless... No, I can't do anything about it. Okay, fine. Actually, we could chop mine it and delay the chop so that it does go into the settler a little bit later. Yeah, not worth giving up two food and a hammer or whatever. Or two food, really, for that. I think. Two food for a worker turn, I don't think it's worth it. It is entirely seemly for a young man killed in the of lie mangled by the bronze. Yes, gonna... In his death, all things... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna doi dao a mine over there. Now. We are gonna want mysticism for these two cities. So I think mysticism is appropriate. Do we want the wheel first, however? The wheel would help get some commerce. Uh, we want to work this, I think, to get the guy out a bit faster. Um, let me see. I think you go mysticism first. Well, how long is the settler really going to take? It's going to six turns to grow, and then about ten or so turns for settler. No, we can go wheel first, and that's better for the economy that way. Okay, we go wheel first. Oh, wow, what is this mix, dude? Ugh. Ugh. Dude. 
It's like all the bastards are next to me. I can see why this is a hard map. Yeah, okay, um, yeah, fair enough. Jeez. Okay, well, we have a warning if they start plotting, at least. Dude, that is not cool. Okay, I think I want to push down this way, though, first things first, and claim some... Well, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to get that. No, I don't know if I'm going to get that. Yeah, well, we send this guy to see if Alex has settled a city there. This guy tries and meets everyone because Alex might block him off and then, you know, like any Hatchup Sits or Freddy's or whatever, whatever, for example, won't be able to get past otherwise. Getting panthered. Alex would be a guy to kill. Now, with him boxing us in like this, I'm not sure if Quirisiers is really the play. Like, the land is quite low commerce. I don't know. This is looking more like... Find a way to get elephants and elephant him, honestly, if I can... Yeah. Especially if he settles this. I don't think Quirisiers are going to pan out, so that might be the mistake here. Um, but you know, it's a learning experience, it's all good. Okay, this needs to go into the settler. Like that. Ceres so fighting off the evil spirits, that's a nice... That's nice of him. Okay, so this one first. Now, we'd want to chop something, one of these two forests, so the settler can get here one turn faster. If I leave the forests, the settler will be um, delayed a turn. Of course, we can just road as well. But let's do both. Yeah, road. I need to road, actually. Uh, so the city's connected. The city is technically not on the river. Oh, okay, so he will... Okay, well... Hmm. He's going to get very cross if I do this. But maybe that's okay. We're sitting bull. If he attacks us, uh, pump out the city garrison three archers and let him have it. But yeah, yeah we can sitting bull him. <laughs> let him suicide into the archers. I don't know. Kind of want to claim some land. I'll put number three here if he hasn't taken that already. I'm, I'm going to go here first. It's cheaper and easier, but yeah, we can look into putting number three there and number four here and check out the cow maybe. Okay, now what we need to do is finish this guy and... Okay, so we can work this to get seven hammers, which means six overflow into the settler. I don't know if that's really going to make a difference, but it might. Um, it's a good tile to work. It has a commerce, or I could try and grow a little more. Which is also reasonable. I cannot tell if this is going to save a turn or not because um, I'm going to be like chopping and stuff as well. Um, let's just do it. it. It might. At the cost of some food, you know, I'm saving like quite a few turns on the settler. It's probably worth it. Or potentially a turn on the settler. Okay, now we need mysticism, no doubt about that. So this guy's kind of fuck-busting everything in this region. Whatever the hell he said, um, yeah. Okay, at the moment it's not going to save a turn, but my base production is 9. And I reckon a chop is now going to save three turns. If I chop, it'll actually save three turns, I'm thinking, if my production is nine. 
9, 9, and that might be 2 right there, which is 20. So, yeah. We might have some major savings here. Yeah, there's the Monty. Need to go fog bust that corner before it's too late. Oh, he took a hit for us. What a good guy. Thank you. Yes. That's perfect. Save two turns like that. Now we're going to road, so the city will be connected. Okay, there's a fish up there. Okay, Monty's here too. Yeah, they like each other. That's not good. Right, so this map is forcing us to settle there, and I don't know how we get the cow here, maybe. Something like this. So we have some spots, not great spots, but spots nonetheless if we want them. But I don't know, I'd like to take his delicious green grasslands and forests and corn off him instead of settle this crap. This one's really nice, this one's pretty nice, and then we're going to go here, yeah. Oh, it's Big Wash. Big Wash. He's back. He's back, guys. It's it's Big Wash. Oh, there's a whale. I really need a dog soldier. Yeah, zero overflow. So we kind of did it perfect. Start on the next worker. This guy's going to be a little busy. We've got to like chop a boat in here and stuff. Uh, go here, work the forest. I've got to chop a monument and get a boat. And then, you know, once I get the boat, we can work cottages and stuff. Uh, pottery should be, yeah, only eight turns because we have... Um, double prerequisite. So I don't really have any reason to grow. I think I'll just go for another worker. I need to go worker that way. Yeah, cottage and chop out the next settler and also build a road over here. I think it can justify another worker. Right, we didn't get mysticism yet. It's okay, but we can get it. I'll just put a hammer into the boat now. I could chop this one. This is kind of a nice tile to work until I get the boat out, in fairness. But I might chop that a bit later. This has an extra commerce, you know. I kind of want to work that far. Nature herself has imprinted on the minds of all the idea of God. Oh, and they get this kind of stuff. All right, sure. Usually how it goes, when you play a hard map with a hard start, someone else, someone else will have all the good stuff. So, yeah, we've got to look into taking the stuff off him. Go a bit further down. Get more of a warning. Right. Uh, the points can probably go on Alex. He's doing pretty well for himself. He's already at three cities. He's got a double chin and he's got a boat out. So yeah, let's watch. Let's watch the bastard. Wall. Right, we could fail gold the Stonehenge too, after I get that worker. Continue our expedition. No, oh, yes, nice land over here, yep. Yeah. Never gonna get that. 
can do that if we want to get pottery a little faster. I think I can still get it in five though at this rate. So it's all good. Well, never mind that idea. Um, Totem pole's going up and then we need to wait a few turns. Okay, but we can chop this and then build cottages and yeah, we'll be vibing. Chop now so we can start on cottages straight after. Oh, oh, snap. Alright, well, that's it for our expedition. Goodbye. True. I don't think there will be too many barbs. I think if they're really far down here, they're going to go to Alex. So I might just get one more warrior. I really kind of want to go for another Satchelor. Yeah, it's a slow start. No doubt about that. Um... I think I should just chop this guy out and go for this spot. Do that. Unless Alex is the one who built the Great Wall, which he isn't. Anything here should, in, re in theory, go this way. I can't see a reason that they'd walk past him to go to me. Doesn't make sense. So, we're going to chop the settler and then road to the next city, I think. That's what we're going to do. Uh, one guy doing cottages is okay for now. Yeah. Six turns, and nine turns for the border pup, that's alright. Now we have to drop this a little bit, but that's fine. Hath not the potter power over the clay to make one vessel unto honour, and another unto dishonour? Um, marble, huh? I'm not sure if I'm going to put number three here. Now that he's taken the cow and stuff, I don't know if it's a good idea. Maybe number four, if it's not taken yet. Don't want to trigger a war. Well, let's see. Only archers? He's not the kind of guy to get mysticism. I could go here and get a monument. It's definitely possible. Also need to go into slavery at some point. I think I'll do that when this settler moves out. Um, hmm. Thinking. Do I go animal husbandry? Maybe find horses somewhere here. Big horses right there, dude. Or do I just go straight to writing? Well, I need a road into him or sailing if I'm gonna go writing now. So maybe animal husbandry gives me a bit of time to develop. Think about that. Oh, Isabella. So I'm not really in a position to build a big long road to him right now. I should not really need the road that bad. It's one commerce, I mean.
Three roads for one commerce, or just settle the freaking city. Go chop again and settle the city faster, gee, I wonder. Um, so how am I going to attack? Okay, let's find freaking horses. Could horse archer rush him? If he still has archers. This land is just... Yeah, not the kind of land you gotta queer a seers with, I think. There's just not much cottage potential here. So we kill him with horse archers and but a doi dao him. And I can save a turn that way or I can save a turn by building three roads. Well maybe I'll do the roads then if the chop only saves one turn. Someone else has found in Hinduism somewhere, and they start with mist. <clears throat> Unless if frickin' Isabella got both. Which maybe she did, I should have paid attention to that. Okay, now we grow this guy. I uh, didn't slavery. <coughs> uh, let's just do it now, I guess. I should have done it earlier. Always make this mistake. It's freaking annoying. Oh well. Oh, the horses are down here. Hmm. That's awkward. Go here, maybe? Oh, this horse is up here. Alright. Well, this is this is just kind of okay now. This one. Maybe make a case for it. I think writing now. Kind of need another warrior. Yeah, I'll go here and then road and open borders, I think. We'll be alright. Or here so I can get the horse. Yeah, maybe here's fine. Screw the fresh water. We have wheat and rice and fish and cow. I think that's fine. We don't need fresh water in every city. Okay, we'll do that one. Like the horse, get the marble, more forests as well, that's not bad.
your neck will get harder. Failing, all right, sure. Not sure what this numbnut wants. I think he's gone to Alex, though. As I said, the barbs down there should go to him, because he's closer. Yeah, grow an eight, which means we grow, like, two turns early, so we can work this for one turn and get the boat out, and, um, yeah, should be good for the border pot. The boat should be there in time for the border pop, I think. Only you got the jar to it. True glory consists in doing what deserves to be written, in writing what deserves to be read. I need to open borders with him yet. Only do what got the jar to it. We might almost want a freaking dog soldier, but I don't really have the production to make one at the moment. Okay, so we got chariots, that's fine. We don't want to give this guy a horseback riding, that's for sure. Um, kind of need more workers. How do I get more workers? I think we'll whip a work. Forget the warrior. We'll get a worker here at size 4, whip it, max overflow into the granary or something like that. Okay, I won't be working the cottage for a little bit. We can go chop the settler instead. Okay, so he went here. He's just, like, blocking me off, but he didn't go here. So I'm going to go here, I think. Well, if I want to go horse archers... What about construction? How do I want to kill him? What about guilds? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get my like, great lighthouse and stuff. It's not any particularly good coastal cities to build the great lighthouse in. Should be iron somewhere, you would think. How are none of these tiles a resource? I was kind of banking on that freaking stupid game. Could let him settle this. And then horse archer brush him. He might settle it stupidly, of course, and go like here. I don't know if he's gonna go right in my face like there. So like, I could just go here. And... Yeah, kill him like that. Or we could even stop the fish and just go like right here, dude, and just get pumping even faster. Feels like a waste though. You can also get a lighthouse like you. Yeah, yeah, some nice spots. Well, some okay spots, I wouldn't say nice. It's very underwhelming. But like, you could just go cow horse in one city, like there. Screw the fish. And just chop a ton of dudes out. 
that's definitely an option. Uh, I don't know, I think that's better. I might back my uh, attack with dog soldiers and catapults though. Because rushing it like that, it's gonna destroy my economy with this kind of crap land. Like, there's no gold mines or anything. My economy will just completely crash if I force up to rush in. Especially with four or five cities already. Uh, my economy is just going to completely crash. I'm not sure if it's a good idea. And um, I can develop this land a little bit, right? I can get mines up. I can get some cottages going. I can settle some more cities. And then I could just rush in with um, construction and... Combine catapults, horse archers, and dog soldiers, and smash him that way instead. Now, that might be what we go for. Now, these idiots are pretty terrible at trading alphabet usually. Do I want to go alphabet myself? We don't have to decide that now. Let's wait, like, seven turns or something, and then see. Um, the commerce is 27, that's pretty bad, but it'll get better. I need to get trade routes. We're gonna whip a worker and start roading into him, I think. And also use this guy. This guy can go to the new city. We don't need to improve stuff here because I will be whipping my granary and all that first, so yeah. Okay, I think we have a good idea of what's going on. Okay, if a guy comes here, I will see it, and this guy is in the forest fortified, so... Should be okay from barbarians. Yeah, that's quite far away. Okay, that's good. Wow! Isabella! Doing Isabella things! Check it out! She oracled Christianity. Not bad. Nice, dude. Good to whip the settler. But with only four feet a turn, I don't think that's a good idea. Something tells me that's not a good idea. Went trade cow, well, boo. Yeah, we'll wait a couple turns on this. Well, I kind of want to do it next turn so I can start writing. Go here. Whip, then road road, then move out on road road. Okay, yeah, so next turn we whip this guy here. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, maybe let him settle here. I'm gonna go and grab this. This needs time to develop. It will be ready for construction. Look at him, he's like crippling himself trying to get iron working. He's struggling. So his commerce must be bad. So if I take his land, I'm gonna like die from strike. Yes. Yes, I know. It's all good, dude. Improve the horse, I suppose. Granary or what? I could just get the early library up. We're philosophical, actually. That is a thing, isn't it? Yeah, two turns and the bow finishes. That's perfect. Great, great. Yeah, maybe we just go for the friggin' library. And get a signed, fast scientist out. I could even bulb the math with it. Use alphabet to trade for other junk. Yeah, I think we'll try something like that. Oh, wow, Isabella. She's kind of kicking ass, I'm not gonna lie. All right, well, never mind that. She 
She has bronze but not iron. Wow, look at her go. Do I want hunting? Can't get anything else. I'm not take it. If you chase two rabbits, you will lose them both. Your neck will get harder. Yes. I think so too, bro. Yeah, trade horseback to Isabella for alphabet and bold math or something and then get construction and yeah. I think so. Big wash. Okay, next turn I will have trade routes. Which should catapult our economy a little bit. Uh, this city should actually be connected by the coast, which is actually nice. Don't have to worry about Bob Galley's All my seafood is on the ocean. So there is that. Okay, let's see. 30 beakers. 33 beakers. He gets Buddhism. Oh, he's got his bro ship with Montezuma. Do not throw the arrow, which will return okay, against you. you. Oh, I guess I could have started chopping. Shite, I should have planned that a bit better. Um, it's probably better to chop, in all honesty. Like, sure, the pasture gets me the monument in six or seven turns. But chopping gets it to me in like four turns. And um, the sooner I get the monument, the sooner I get the food. I think it's just better. Rather than save the forest for the granary. I, I think it's better this way. I'm not sure, but I think. We'll just whip again at size um, 4, I'm thinking, in this city. I get the stuff. Now that we've finished rooting, we can like go chop as well. Go chop the um, library in the capital. Come on, Alex, come settle this marble and rice, dude, and uh, I'll take it off you, bro. Right, we'll need to overflow into a dude here just for happiness. We have no happiness. Quite awkward. Aki, what are you doing now? Aki, what are Oh, so yeah, all these forests with math, they're going to be good. Yeah, this start screams for an early rush of some sort. I just got another forest somewhere. Chocolate Canyon. Let's go. Chocolate Canyon. Make a start on the boat. Yeah, let's get this library out. Oh, he did it. He done did it. Okay. Yes, great. Thank you, Alex. We're gonna frickin' doi dow the heck out of you there. Okay, so I think I'm 100% safe from barbs with his double chin right there in front of my face. So, don't have to worry about that. We'll go explore and meet the uh, last guy if we can. Try to. Sure, we can do- oh, wow, big Surrey! Big Surrey. 
is doing big surrey things. Okay, he's springing. Okay, yeah, this, this is fairly dangerous. He's bringing his chariots and stuff over. Um, we might get a couple archers out. He could attack very early. Well, the moment he finishes iron working and connects iron, he could come right after us. So we want to be a little bit cautious of him. Cahokia. That's a nice city. Fair enough. Fair enough, dude. Not ruining the fish. I respect it. I respect that. Um, we are going to have a happiness issue here, but that's probably okay. Okay, library's done, yeah. Let me just run double scientist here and, um, yeah. Get a miner for some production. What is going on? Lots of fists popping up. Okay, yeah, this is not a terrible capital, actually. He just mismanaged it completely. Like, double corn, horse, forests, floodplains. This is a gorgeous capital. I want this. Cottage the hell out of this. Yeah, like, Kuriosir Roche. Why would you go Kuriosirs when you have this next to you, man? You just take this and cottage the hell out of it. Move the palace here, and this is this is the spot. And then you go Kuriosirs, I reckon. Yeah. All right, we're going to do this. Nine turns, pretty good stuff. No point building an academy here, especially if we're going to move the palace to um, Alex's spot. Here, however, we're going to whip a barracks, I think, into archers and stuff because I'm scared. Um, okay, we kind of want the food if we're going to be whipping, so let's do that. I could farm this tile, actually, for a little more food. I'd be okay with doing that. And you know what? We might just not whip this capital at all and just work a bunch of mines. So I think barracks. Just straight for barracks. If you speak the truth, have a foot in the stirrup. Okay, Mound City is... This kind of slipped my mind. Somehow. Um. I don't know where people are gonna be. Maybe like up there. Try and get Alphabet off Izzy. How do I get a warrior? I could, no, one pop whipping won't even work. We need to two pop whip. How did I screw this up so bad? What's wrong with me? Jeez. Uh, I'll just have to do this for two turns. I mean, I could grow and keep growing. I guess it's okay. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. I'll still gain some food. That's fine. Words have the power to both destroy <laughs> and <laughs> When words are both true, <laughs> no, oh, guys. Guys, 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 guys. Oh, guys. Ho, ho, ho.
You can't direct the wind, but you can adjust your sails. Yeah, I think we bold map in seven rather than self tech it in seven. Save money and put all that money into construction. We go masonry. Uh, iron working. I don't want to get it off Alex, to be honest. Let's let's trade with Big Surrey or something. Hey, we got a village. That's really nice, actually. Oh, sharing is awesome. Yeah, I think we chop poverty point. And I'll overflow into a couple of protective archers. Even if he doesn't attack me, these archers will be useful to just take with my army and dump in the cities when I take the cities. They can, like, defend the cities for me and stuff. They'll be a valuable addition to my army. Yeah, horse archers into aggressive, bastard, spamming, phalanx and... Um, well, not phalanx, but, like, spears with, you know... Double promotions, he's got like walls in his cities, and then it's gonna strain my economy. I don't know, I think it's easier going construction. Uh, I need to go down here with a boat or something. I need to get trade routes. I mean, Monty will have open borders with him, and I'll get the. I think I'll still have trade with Monty. Well, I might not get routes. It should get better when I take this city. I don't know. This is a tough one, but yeah, I think you have to early rush. I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Yeah, there's a happiness issue for sure. Hmm. Big wash. This boat can explore south, maybe. I might just get barbed galleyed, but I don't know, it's worth a shot. Yes, do we da? Oh, okay. Osiri well, had other plans, it looked like, but um, now the fight is on. And look at Alex beelining construction like a prick. His economy doesn't look too hot, though. So I think we'll beat him there. No one wants to give me masonry right now, of course not. I don't want to give him alphabet. He'll trade with his bros. Doesn't seem like the best idea. And yeah, we're going to have a happiness issue here. We could go for another worker to chop some stuff for us. Yeah. Quite a lot to chop, actually. So maybe, and we're, get, we're not too far away, so maybe this is the play. Rather than grow into unhealthiness or unhappiness, we put all the hammers into a worker. But hey, I've got a 6 XP archer here ready to go for him if he tries anything funny. Okay, and we'll want to work this. And uh, maybe just like that's it. Like two mine well maybe mine this then. We're just gonna go like hammers. Cause I don't have food to really whip anywhere. Don't think this is a whipping uh a war that I'm gonna whip a lot in, like say the Hannibal one. We had we whipped a lot in that because that had a lot of good food, but the food here is pretty 
disappointing unless I build like lighthouses and stuff. But even then, I don't have the freaking happiness. No one's giving me shite. I'll cottage that one actually. Because it's a two foot tile. And now we go all the way to construction. Where's the last guy? I wonder. Clam and cow. Wow, she's currency. She's kicking ass. She won't trade anything, dude. She has currency, though. Oh, they're so stingy with the trades. What the hell, guys? Good thing I didn't rely on, like, a math trade or anything. You can wait. From their foes, not their friends, that cities learn the lesson of building high walls. If in other sciences we should arrive at certainty without doubt and truth without error, it behooves us to place the foundations of knowledge in mathematics. Kamara Jungle. Okay, they're both at five cities. I wonder if Siri's gonna kick the living daylights out of him or if... I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Or if Monty will kick his freaking head in. We'll see, I guess. And so now we just pre-chop everything, really, and that's that. There's one more guy to meet. I wonder if it's like Pical or something kicking ass. Yeah, there's some. Oh, no, that's Isabella. That has to be Isabella. She's wow. Like the the live stream game I did. So I don't want to spoil too much, but she was terrible at teching in that game. And now she's like redeeming herself. She's kicking ass. Turn the tables have turned. <laughs> Interesting. All depends on starting position more so than AI personality, the lesson is. I suppose. Oh, come on. Right, well. Let's take him on an adventure over there then. Am I paying money for that guy? No. Okay, well, we can just do that for fun then. Take him to Alex. Hey Alex, um, I'm gonna bring you a friend. <laughs> Ob City, all right. She's gonna get this anyway. I might just take this and money. You should hammer your iron. She's gonna get that, but this stops them from trading with each other essentially, because you know Alex could trade math to her for some stuff, and we don't want that. Oh, yo. Alright, don't finish these chops. We go there and improve that. That's a nice tile to work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we can grow one more size here, then we won't be able to grow. So we kind of need a mine here. Yeah, the very low happy cap is really difficult, but but with this tech path, I'm going to be able to, like, trade her monarchy probably soon, maybe. Um, so that'll help. No. Could actually start shopping now that we have math. I'll chop that one, it helps me get to the other forests a bit faster. This one I won't chop. I think that's a good balance. Oh yeah, you got gems, sure. Oh, you golden aged, did you? 
with your great spire. They'd love to do this, dude. They get the super early great spire. They don't know what to do with it, so they just start a golden age in the BCs. Freaking Great Wall hurts the AI more than it helps them, I swear, dude. They're just like wasting their golden age. In the middle of a war. In the BCs when they don't even have the gems improved. Uh, she might get more, let's wait. Oh, forgot about this one. Well, that's okay. As it is, it's okay. Oh. Weird map. Yeah, look at him. Oh, it is this bar. Oh, no, dude. Not Pakal. He's in this war as well or something. Okay. Not this guy. So where is he? Oh, man. My trades are, like, blocked off by Alex and Barb cities and crap. Oh, no. I need monarchy. Oh, wait a second. I'm glad I saw that, and I'm glad I didn't screw myself. We're gonna buy this off of her. And because her workboats came all the way over to me at some point, um, she has a trade route to me, which means that deal will keep going because her civilians or whatever bring gold to me and then take the fish and the one gold back home. Right, that's how it works. Yeah. No, that's, that's really, really helpful. Now we can grow and stuff. That's like an extra tile that can work in every city. Um, really, really helpful. Every, yeah, the capital can hit size 6 and, and stuff. And yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Isabella. Really helped. Oh, yeah, we can do that. That's no problem, man. Thank you for asking for, like, a, a reasonable demand rather than a stupid demand. But, yeah, no granary. We just pump. I mean, this could be the whipping spot, technically, especially if I put a cottage here. It's an idea, but also just hard hammers isn't bad either, really. We have a granary though, like we could just whip a bit in here. I might do a little bit of whipping, but not stack the anger up. We have the mines, so we can easily switch to the mines when we want to stop whipping. Oh, Monty! Monty! Nice, Monty! Go, Monty! Yeah, Monty! 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 Okay, we want the chops in the capital, because that's going to be the... all such a pumper. We went to the effort of building a freaking expensive stable there like an idiot, but, you know... Um, it should... I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know. Don't know how I should do this. Hmm. Hey, Mr. Bob Galley, I'm here. Come.
wanted to grow. Let's just grow first. Oh, you're going away. Yeah, what a terrible golden age that was. Upski. Jeez, <laughs> but what's going on? Oh, guys, Alex, how's that 2010 construction going? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Meditation brings wisdom. Yeah, whip like this and grow onto the mine and slow grow. Good balance. Well, what leads you forward? And what holds you back? Come here. Idiot. Try and get monarchy off of her with... Oh, she got construction. What the freaking hell? Oh, someone will trade monarchy. Let's get the prerequisites. It's fine. Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. True. Do I want more warriors? I have warrior, warrior, what? No, I have enough warriors. I'm okay. Uh, we should go and explore the coast or something a little bit before we kill them. Also, check out his cities too. Whip stuff into archers. Couple dog soldiers to escort us. It should be a pretty solid attack stack. Wow, everyone's just on a rampage. All right, guys. All right. Oh, Alex is plotting. Oh, 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 wait a second. Alex is plotting. And he's got combat archers and stuff on my border. Well, good news is I'm ready for it. So come at me, bro. Bro. I like that tile more. Why did that deal get cancelled? Shut up. Oh no! 
Carl, why would you do this to me? Oh no. Okay, I need to go into Buddhism, I think. I don't think I have a choice. The unhappiness is gonna be too painful otherwise. Oh, and I'm attacking a person in Buddhism, but I need the happiness. This is where Charismatic would be top tier of a trait. Upki! Okay. Not sure where his attack stack is. Eat monarchy. I can try going for Cod of Laws. Yeah, if I got currency, you know that helps me, but it doesn't get me trades. Yeah, these idiot. A lot of these idiots are more likely to go currency than Cod of Laws. I think. <clears throat> Maybe I'll just go Code of Laws, I don't know. Yeah. Here's the stack. Well, no, not really. Complete caveman game. Oh man, yeah, the happiness is really, really bad. Frickin' Bacal, where is Isabella? Not going to have a trade route. Need more than this. This is so pathetic. Yeah, dude, charismatic. Oh, the elephant's all the way over there. It's such, such a caveman game. There's so much unsettled land and barbed cities everywhere. Like, what's going on, guys? That's <laughs> it's so... I don't know. Disappointing. Okay, why are we still growing in here? Let's do something... a bit like that. Let's do that. Then you become un unhappy and work that, and then we avoid growth. Until you get a source of happiness there or something, I don't know. I can't be like that, fine. So angry. Wow. It's just more Bob Kelly's chilling down there. I have enough archers. We might whip this one again, actually. Whip a catapult into a sword in three turns. Seems okay.
I want to know if he's plotting on me or not. Huh. Oh, you can't grow, can you? Oh, damn. Okay, then we do this. Eventually the food will be wanted someday. This capital will make a really good heroic epic spot. Or later. And we'll work the commerce when we're done with the war and need commerce. Um, I don't care about the granary. Don't have elephants, but horse archers are still pretty strong in my opinion. Oh, that's all good. All right, avoid growth, and um, yeah, we just maybe even do that. Who cares? Who freaking cares? Until I can get happiness, just take this just to get something. I still have another fish. Oh, she's angry, and we lost our resources. That's a bummer. It's a real bummer, dude. The car ruined everything. What a freak. So many barb cities. One, two, three, four, five. What the hell's going on? Oh wow, this is just so caveman-y. Now is he stacking? The oh yeah, he's he's coming for me. I think. Yep, he's he's bringing his boys over to me. He's he's happy, but that doesn't mean he can't plot. Okay, so he's he's coming to us. Let's get a medic chariot. I'm doing this so I can get trades from Monty, I think, maybe. Uh, probably not going to happen. I need to go this way to get trades, but... Bleh. That horse archer has a long way to travel and he might just get barb speed. I don't know. Can't really win, can you? Tempted to let Alex make the first move. Looks like Monty's winning more fights. This capital's pumping pretty hard, like the hammers are pretty respectable. Where is everyone? What is this map? There's more barb cities than target cities okay let's watch this troop movement okay wow he's all the way down here oh crap i'm gonna get no trade routes i'm gonna be totally screwed mm. try researching a little bit in here i don't know yeah, th this is a tough one for the early game, but I don't think it's even worse if you wait. Oh, really? I lost that. Our Siri's angry, everyone's angry. 2.8 versus 3.5, and he has 30% still. Oh, okay, sure, all right. Ooh, I could, like, snipe this off him, dude, to get my trade routes. Maybe I'll just attack him next turn. I mean, let him throw his units at me. I'm not going to wait for him to attack me. We'll switch out of Buddhism at some point. Just doing it for now because, yeah, we need the uh, happiness of these cities for them to really develop. I 
He's definitely... This might be it. I might not have to attack him, but... I like the fact he has no units in there. I can get his chariot. And get him good. I will have a warning. He will move onto this tile before he attacks. That's a pretty good stack now. It's definitely become something respectable. No, he's just gonna keep walking around. Shut up. I want to fight him. He's gonna go hit like Monty or something, maybe. I think I'm gonna attack him. Can't do anything. Plate bastard move. Nearly there. Try and get that tech. I really want it. Start on the next dude, maybe. Come on, throw those units at me. Come here. Come on. Come here. That's it. There's a good boy. Throw them at me. That's it. I let him come into my territory so I get no war weariness for it. Try and get Code of Laws. Has, no one's gotten it yet. I could get some nice trade. Well, I wouldn't get trades now because I've pissed everyone off. Well, maybe I can like switch out of it and then switch into Monarchy. I've taken freaking two turns of Anarchy. Ugh, that's disgusting. I really shouldn't be in a religion though with this kind of situation on the map. It's just helpful to get some extra hammers while I was preparing for the war, so yeah. I don't know, dude. This is a really tough one. Spiritual would be nice here. Okay, here he comes. Try and get another, another promotion, 
Yeah. Triple chariot stack. It's not gonna hurt a fly. Let's get the Medica promotion. Or in position to get uh, the movement bonus when he gets another one. Let me... Let's take out this dude. Oh, sure. 84%. Alright. Gonna do one of those, of course. That's okay. Okay, I have two workers there, that's fine. Um, stupid horse, uh, stupid chariots. Um, I mean, the chariots like die to catapult. I want to see what he has. He has nothing. Oh, great. Get the medic up. Beautiful. Turn one of the war. Got my general already. Um... Well, they didn't kill anything, they have no XP, they're not gonna do anything to anyone, I think, those guys. So, no worries. No, we can do that. There we go, perfect. Make sure we finish this tech. Okay, good. Stupid cherry. To bring about the rule of righteousness in the land so that the strong should not arm the weak. Oh, he's gonna spear me. Crap. Um, okay. Only three catapults. My guys are wounded. My guy's not even here yet. Delay that one turn. And get better prepared for the action. My horse archers, which are my heavy hitters, can heal this turn. Um, put the medic in between here so this guy... Well, this guy probably heals in one regardless, so maybe it's not a big deal, but you know, whatever. Have to be right there. I'll just delete this. Um, okay, we need to keep making units now because this war won't be over for a bit. We got what we needed. You're becoming unhappy, if that's understandable. I'm unhappy too sometimes, but um, yeah, you know, we kind of need to be reasonable at the same time, I think. Uh, 
Okay, uh, we can maybe get a monarchy trade off of Isabella, but she doesn't like me because I'm in the wrong religion. I might not get the monarchy trade yet. I might. She's the only one with monarchy. She might monopolize it a bit, to be fair. The trades are so bad. They are such caveman, this game. Even for a mortal, like, what is, what is this, dude? Like, one person has alpha? Even Bacal doesn't even have ironworking and crap yet. Like, what's going on? What? I guess they all have bad starts. All right, well, fair enough, guys. Yeah. Life sucks sometimes. Oh, crap. <laughs> That's funny. And it's gonna get me. Rip. Oh. <laughs> okay, three more guys coming. These aren't too harmful though. It's a spearman. Alright, well, yeah, we need to cut a bolt. Oh, that's bullshit. Such BS. Should win at least one of those, or at least do more damage to that guy. Aha! Dog soldier time. Yeah, hundred percent. Are they going to hit me if I don't? It's a catapult. Yeah, but I have super up. So maybe I'll be okay. I got catapults and horse archers and stuff. I don't know, should be okay. Put the archers in the city, that's where they shine. Got too many guys, I don't think you can get me that easy. Multitude of rulers is not a good thing. Let there be one ruler. This will just go self tech currency. Trade away the second horse, actually. Wait, once he can get my workers if I'm not careful with the stupid chariot. Uh, where is he going? And uh, what? What's? Where's this guy going? Three dog soldier the score. Upki got a doi dao. I'd rather risk the dog soldier at seventy percent than the horse archer at seventy eight. I think. Da da doi dao. Bonk. Bonk. Let's go. Freaking gave him the bonk, bro. Hi yo 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 yo.
Great catapults, that's not really what you want. Okay, we're gonna chop out more catapults then. Yeah, this is tough with this kind of start. Um, my economy is garbage. But every everyone's fighting, dude. Oh, he brought more garbage over. Okay, nice, dude. So we'll ignore the garbage and go here and work on Sparta. While we use our horse archers to clear out the trash. And we'll bombard this while we heal up or something. Actually, some of these... We don't even need everyone, like, there's only two units in there. Okay, yeah, he could move a couple, he can't move that much, though. He made a big mistake. Don't get wounded, please. Good. Let the swordsman heal up, then we can go straight to Thebes next. Oh, we need to root this tile. Okay, he might try and get us there. But if I put like this combo in here, he can't do crap to that. Pretty sure about that. Yeah, we'll give him the doi dao over there. And we got a city garrison three archer. I feel safe enough with one city garrison three archer. Let's bring these guys up. And the archers are coming in pretty helpful. That guy with the medic there. Okay, horses. Does Isabella need horses? No, we can't trade with Isabella because she's fighting Bacal. It's a real bummer. We have, like, no trades. She might be past Monty, but I couldn't get past Monty. I have to take Argos anyway to get a trade route up there. I don't know, man. But situation is pretty tough. I'm not getting crap. Not getting any trade routes, yeah, this this is tough. The currency is like not even gonna save us. I, I don't know what we should do. Just kill Alex as fast as possible. Here we go. Huge help. Huge, dude. So we got monarchy now and um, happiness. Yeah, now now we're gold. Let's go for a library here, maybe. Run some scientists in that city, because the city has nothing better to do. Nice, dude. Um, that one. Um, we can just hit this now. There's not much going on for him. It's like one catapult. And then this shot guy should have pretty good odds. Ooh, nice. Oh, I got a bit lucky there. I deserve it. Okay, 76, 80, we go 80, use this guy first. Oh, nice man, good job. 83. Yes, dude, 99. Cool, that's a good city as well. Doing nice damage. This one looks pretty under-defended. I need a moment to get my guys together. I, where are my catapults? Oh, I don't want to win this place.
With that catapult next turn, I don't want to lose too many tiles. This is really annoying how slow this is. You know what? Screw that. Just whip the catapult into it and then whip it later for only two pop. Oh, uh, what the f do I want to attack? We don't like you enough. You're a wow, really? Minus four refused to help us in what? What a prick. Isabella's the only one with an economy. Still think we go currency. And I can sell stuff to those other idiots. Okay, lost my deal with Wash. I kind of want to ignore this and go for his flatland capital. Americans. Okay. So I don't think his capital will have too much in it. Like, I don't need to leave much. These guys can heal for a turn. The medic is next to them. Yep. Bring this guy up. We got this guy here. Get that road ready. I might keep the forest there. The defensive position. Just keep my archer in there. Be a prick to him. Okay, let's whip this and go for like a sword or something with the overflow. You need to take a tile like this, for example. And if he has a chariot, he can get me here, although not right now. We could get a monument, but I think we have religion there, and we're like neutral on religion, so just use that for the border pop. And more horse archers are coming, that's wonderful, because, yeah, not really working the hammers right now, or all of them anyway. Uh, growing in three, I don't know about that. Well, we could do this and give you the food now. Grow in two, and then you grow in... Yeah, yeah do something like that, maybe. Not too much in here. Not let me make a start on the bombardment. Bring the rest of the doidars in here. Pillage that with some money. This is a tricky one, but um, we're pushing through here. Yes, uh, good game. Wow, we've been playing a long time. Holy shit. Hold on. Okay. Um, I don't know. Reach up, maybe. Well, I'll take a break after we take his capital. And we could whip this. To get more pump. But I don't know, maybe we're okay just slow building stuff like that. And yeah. Okay, he's being a bit of a bastard with this guy. Ah, uh, this is bullshit. Okay, he's stacking in here. Yeah, he might come in here with a bunch of guys and be annoying. 
Yeah, let's chop walls then, since we're protective and all. Bam, one turn up. I don't know, I might just go here actually. Oh, he's gonna chariot my worker. Right. Yeah. Oh well. Really need more catapults than three. Uh, we have two more coming. I'll do this now so we can run guys at size four. Allows me to start on research earlier, and yeah, I think it's better like that. Ah, uh, why are you avoiding growth? Jeez, he's pumping out the dudes, that's for sure. Okay, Catapult Chariot. Yeah, he's gonna come in here with a big stack. Heal this Catapult, Bombard, one more turn, and then Strike, I think. Oh, I don't want to move everyone out because he might really come in here. No easy way to get in there, is there? No. Well, we might need the extra firepower. I'm gonna move that guy in. These guys can stay here and hold the fort just in case. He he goes for it. Right, we need a monument here somehow. Build it in five, or just take this and whip it in five. Better to whip. Um, I don't know, just move these guys away for now. There's not a lot to do with the workers until we finish this war, really. Okay, so we're like done here. Now we want to run scientists in this one. This guy can just work hammers and pump the dudes out. I think that's pretty okay. How about you? You're working hammers for now, and then we might whip more using the cottages and stuff. What about you? Like, you could grow another size if you want. I do want to get that catapult real quick first, though, so let's just do that then. Economy's not looking too good now, but neither is his five turning mono piece. <laughs> Meanwhile, Isabella's at engineering. Holy cow, she's just the holy era ahead of us. All right. Wash has the sugar, though. I think we can just take him just with these smaller mana guys. One catapult will survive, maybe. We're just gonna go for it. 43. Pretty good shot here. Unfortunate. 75 now. That's a really good shot. And I got bullshitted. Alright, game. Yep, yep, yep. Sure. Be like that. 85. Am I gonna lose 85 as well? Well, dude. Yeah, sure, why not? Great combat luck. Yeah, that's just bullshit. 78. Oh, 
Okay, there's Athens. Excellent. A nice freaking capital. Need to go road. I lost all of my catapults. Not good. Need to take Argos, kind of. Well, I'd almost raise it and resettle it there. Gets me away from Monty as well. Alright, well, let's take a break there. This is getting pretty tough. I have to think about it. It's already 200 AD and, like, I don't even have currency yet. This is uh, quite the caveman game, but, you know, we'll bounce back with this good land that we're getting, I think, and it's only immortal and they're not taking too fast other than Isabella, but she only has four cities. You can only go so far with that. <laughs> um, So I think we'll be okay. Oh, wow, well, yeah, she got a lot of stuff. Pyramids as a stack. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I think we can grind Alex down. There's not too much left. I've raised his nice city here as well, but blowed him down a bit, of course. There's four cities left. Well, he had a lot of cities, man. Yeah, he would, he, he would have had... Yeah, he had eight. Definitely getting out of hand a bit. But we're in a really good position. We've grind, ground him down to a more reasonable power level. And, uh... Yeah. I think we can do this. Cowpults and horse archers with some protective bastard archers. It's a pretty decent combo. Couple swords. Huh. Alright. I don't know what to do with this worker's health. Decide that next time. Thanks for watching, guys.